What is good, YouTube, and welcome back to a brand new video. So the 76ers have hired Daryl Morey to be the new front office guy, general manager, whatever it might be, but it seems like he's going to be running things there in Philly. As we know, he ran the Rockets for quite some time, got James Harden, made a pretty good team with the Rockets. He, you know, he made some questionable moves. He made some good moves, and honestly, no one knows what Daryl Morey's about to do in Philly. Like, he could trade Simmons or Embiid. He could keep them both. He could, like... Maybe he learned from trading the big man away and Clint Capella, and maybe he doesn't want to run that style of off. I don't know, man. There's a lot. There's a lot. It could go either way, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Like, there's a lot of ways this can go, is what I really wanted to spit out. So, I don't really know what's going to happen, but I just kind of wanted to do a Philadelphia 76 rebuild based off what I think Daryl Morey might do, but I'm not totally sure, because it could go either way. So, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's do the 76ers rebuild. I have as much control of how the 76ers play. Like, Doc Rivers, I don't know, man. Like, uh, it's just, you know, obviously the Rockets kind of let Daryl Morey basically have a, a whole, like, he very, he impacted the way the Rockets played. And I don't know if he's going to have that kind of control on the 76ers. We'll have to find out, obviously. And then Doc Rivers is the coach there now as well. So, like, this is going to be interesting to see how this goes. But for me, I'd like to think that Daryl Morey is not going to like go ahead and say, oh, well, uh, Joel Embiid does not fit what I used to do in Houston. So I'm bringing that same mentality here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, trade Joel Embiid and we're going to put shooters around Ben Simmons. I don't know if, if that's how it's going to work. And I'm not, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm not totally sure how it's going to work, but I could maybe see Daryl Morey, like, like the 76ers, think about their playoff success in the past, um, three years i mean they've been close like think about it the first uh ben simmons rookie year they made it to the second round right i don't remember what team it was against totally maybe it was against boston if i don't remember like for sure and then the next round the next year they made it against toronto and they lost in seven obviously Kawhi's game winning shot was crazy and then they just got swept by boston uh when they didn't have ben simmons so maybe he looks at that philly roster from the year they almost made it to the east conference finals because you know, who knows? Maybe they beat the Bucks that year and they make it to the NBA Finals. Who knows? So maybe he kind of wants to mimic that same team that Philly used to have and keep Simmons and Embiid. Or maybe he thinks a totally different way and he wants to trade Embiid or Ben Simmons. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and lean towards trying to recreate that same team. So obviously, JJ Redick was a huge part of that. Jimmy Butler was a huge part of that. And there's, you know, JJ Redick's easily replaceable. But Jimmy Butler, not so much. Not so much. That's a different, unique uh, unique kind of player. So what I kind of want to do, there's two players I can think of. So basically Jimmy Butler was a guy that could, you know, he was a shot creator in a way. Like he was a, he was another guy that could handle the ball. There are some guys out there potentially that 76 could get. The first two that come to mind that are easily tradable right now is the Pacers with Victor Oladipo who could definitely, you know, take the ball and definitely kind of control it a little bit for them, for Philly. So I kind of like that maybe. I don't think Oladipo would cost too much either considering he's on a one-year deal. So maybe that happens. Uh, there was also the Buddy Heald thing for the Kings, like uh, another shooter, but I've traded for Buddy Heald in so many 76ers rebuilds, I don't even want to do it today. So I'm going to go ahead and stay away from that. So then there's Oladipo, and then there's the totally crazy contract they could get from the Thunder and Chris Paul, which we all know he's a definitely a shot creator and can space the floor. So I don't know which one I want to go for. I think either one definitely could help us out. Obviously, if the Thunder want Ben Simmons, I'm not doing it. But uh, if we could get Chris Paul here without trading Ben Simmons or Embiid, I kind of like that idea. I kind of like it for them, and I think I might do it because I think uh, obviously Old Depot would probably be a lot easier to get, but I think Chris Paul would make a bigger impact. I think. I, I mean, yeah, obviously the contract is there, and you know Daryl Moore is not afraid to make win now moves. So I think Chris Paul makes a lot of sense here. I really do, and it could look crazy on paper, but I think it's a shot creator and another shooter around Ben Simmons. Obviously, he could take the ball. Obviously, Ben Simmons wouldn't be able to play off of him too much. But hey, they had Jimmy Butler that one year. Not somebody who can play off of, you know, Jim Butler's not the best shooter. Regardless, I'm going to stop talking and let's trade for Chris Paul or Oladipo. Which one makes more sense? I think Chris Paul would make a bigger impact right away. But Oladipo in the long term probably would be the best move. But I think I'm going to go for the win now. And I'm going to try to make a trade for Chris Paul here. I don't know how easy it's going to be. Let me see what I can come up with. Maybe, maybe that the Philadelphia 76ers could send over for Chris Paul. So it's like... Richardson Al Horford, a first round pick, two seconds, uh, early seconds, by the way, and Matisse Thybul, a young player that the Thunder would definitely benefit having. Yes, they've taken on Al Horford's terrible contract. Yes, Josh Richardson's probably not going to be there long term, 
But I'm going to send this over, and they don't agree to that, so that's actually interesting. I thought they would accept that. Chris Paul's trade value is through the roof right now, so let me throw that back in. Let me throw a first-round pick in, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get Chris Paul from the Thunder without, like, overriding it, which I'm not going to do, obviously. So that sucks. I'm going to try to wiggle my way to get Chris Paul one more time, and if I can't get him, I guess we'll go with Oladipo. The value is just way too up there, which is fine. I mean, obviously, his contract is huge and all that, so... We're not gonna be able to do it, and uh, maybe the Thunder wants to take on Al Horford's contract. So instead, I'm gonna try to get Old Depot here, and they do agree. So yeah, we gave up. If you guys didn't see it, I kind of went through it fast. We're interested in Mike Scott for Court Maz in a very early second. It was the second. Uh, it was the, like the second pick in the second round. So very early second. So yes, we got Old Depot. I don't know how much that helps us, but I'm happy to have him as another shot creator, another shooter, and I think I, th I definitely think it could help Philly out. We do still have Al Horford's contract, obviously. I don't know if anybody on the planet in the NBA is going to want Al Horford other than maybe Sacramento, but like I said, I'm going to try not to do that today. Maybe there's some other team out there potentially, but we'll have to see. But we do have our 21st pick in the draft, so I'm going to go ahead and go to that 21st pick and let's see what we can get. So first trade, we got Old Depot, and now we can kind of head uh, go ahead and draft. So I saw Sadiq Bay. There's also Tyrese Maxey, who I'm going to take actually. So we get Tyrese Maxey, and then he is a 7-3 overall. Kenny Martin Jr. will accept all of those. Uh, Novell Pell. Qualifying offers from Mariel Shayok. Oh my gosh, that dude's crazy looking. I didn't even, I never even noticed. Uh, but our team right now, so we got Ben Simmons, the point guard, Oladipo, Matisse. There's so many shooting guards on the roster, and we just drafted another one. Uh, Tobias Harris, GR3, Al Horford, and Joel Embiid, and Norvell Pell. So, Al Horford, definitely somebody I don't necessarily want on the roster anymore. So, I'm going to try to get rid of him if I can. Like I said, I just don't know who would be willing to take that on. And we got to find a point guard that would be best for us to have or because I might play Simmons at the three. I think that'd be fun to do. So if we could find a point guard uh, that would fit here nicely, like Chris Paul definitely was the guy I really wanted, but I don't think we're going to be able to make it happen. So uh, let me try to find some of the point guard that I think could fit uh, nicely. Bring here to Philly. That would make sense uh, at the top of my head. But I'm going to go ahead and just, I guess, offer Marquise Morris a contract. Definitely a shooter that'd be great to have. So I'm gonna have Markeith Morris come to Philly. And that's gonna be our big signing in this free agency. So yeah, not a whole lot. I mean, I feel like Al Horford uh, is definitely somebody Philly's gonna try to get rid of. I just don't know how possible it's gonna be. And uh, we move Shake Milton to the backup point guard. We have Odipo Missy Stiebel. So yeah, I'm gonna roll with this lineup, at least for now, for season number one, and we'll see how it goes. So hopefully Odipo can be uh, nice. Hopefully Missy Stiebel can uh, develop an Al Horford. Just be somewhat decent if you can like that'd be phenomenal but let's go ahead and uh simulate this first season and let's see how our first season goes 33 not bad not great either i want us to be top tier eastern conference team so we got lebron james on yukon kongwu schroeder Kawhi, uh zion and jb bickerstaff so the cleveland cavaliers are better than us apparently so all be a first team we do get Joel Embiid making it which is nice to see all be a second team no Ben Simmons and none on the all be a third team either all the first team we do get Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid though which is nice and Matisse Thabo also makes it as well which I love that I uh, love to see that we are the four seed in the east because think about it we're also gonna have to deal with the Brooklyn Nets this year uh with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving coming back so but I'm very happy with the production we got out of Oladipo a nice 16 points per game Definitely can't complain. 36%. Definitely would love to see that a little bit better. Same out to Tobias Harris. Definitely would love that. Uh, Benson apparently shot 45%, but he only attempted so many threes. And hey, Joel Embiid, 38% is not bad for uh, the big man, uh, a big man of his size. Shake Milton doing his thing. Markeith Morris, Al Horford. Like, yeah, we're, we're happy with the production we got out of most guys, but obviously it kind of depends how these playoffs go is where we're going to go with this team. So playing the Charlotte Hornets in the first round, Graham Edwards, Bridges, Washington Cousins Montrez. All right, so let's play current round and we beat them in five, which is good. Uh, for some reason, Cleveland is the first in the East. Definitely don't see that happening next year, but they're here regardless. Gar uh, Garland, Sexton, Porter, Love, Drummond, Killian Hayes, Thompson Light. This team really hasn't changed at all other than, I guess, drafting Killian Hayes and they are freaking the first seed in the East. So props to them. Uh, they scored 161 on the Magic, which is insane. I feel like we could beat this team, but I don't know. We'll see. And we beat them in five. Yep, I thought we could do it. And we finally get Philly to the Eastern Conference Finals, but we're playing uh, Philly's arch nemesis, the Boston Celtics. And uh, Joel Embiid said it best one time. Uh, you know, they said Boston and Philly was a rivalry, and Embiid basically shut that down and said, it's not a rivalry if they kick our, uh, you know, I know what he actually said, but I'm going to try not to cuss since we're on YouTube. 
kick our butts every time. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, can we beat Boston this time? We'll have to see. We're playing Kimba, Brown, Hayward, Tatum, and his cancer. Smart, Tyus, McDaniels, Michael Carter-Williams, and Robert Williams Vernon Carey as well. So this will definitely be a tough matchup. But let's see how it goes. And we do get eliminated in six games. So that sucks. But we made it to these conference finals at the very least with Simmons and Embiid. And we almost made it to the NBA finals two games away. So definitely happy with that. Obviously, I want to make some more upgrades. But the Boston Celtics go on to win the championship as we beat the Lakers in four games. So like I said, we're definitely going to make some more moves, though. I'm very happy with what we've gotten so far. And we don't have a lottery pick, obviously. But uh, for the staff signing, Doc Rivers, I'm going to keep... I'm going to go ahead and get a better trainer, though, just because, uh, you know, I love having my three training camps. Let's go to the draft now, though. And uh, we have the 22nd pick. Al Horford, I'm going to have to find a way to trade you. You just aren't the power forward I kind of want for the future. But Maxi, Markeith Morris, definitely some nice backup stutter. So if I just threw Al Horford in the trade finder, George Hill, actually not a bad backup point guard to have. Gafford, Alec Burks, uh, that's the Bucks, right? Yeah, Bucks. Uh, Gafford and Alec Burks, definitely some more depth. I like that. Thompson, MCW. Terrence Mann, Beverly, Tyus Jones, Kai Bowman, Joe Ingles, Bogey, Gary Harris, Delon Wright, Jeremy Lamb, Joe Harris. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I don't love any of these trades uh, particularly, but I guess this one isn't too bad. It's shooters. I mean, it's nice and all, but I might wait. I might wait till after the draft, see if any of my offers change. So let's go ahead. And uh, they took Isaiah Todd, uh, Matisse Abel, Zare Smith. Qualifying offers, Norvell Pell and Mariel Shayok. And then free agency, we do have Old Depot to worry about, who only wants $23 million, which actually isn't too bad for the production we got out of him. So I will definitely offer Old Depot that contract. So Old Depot definitely would love to have him back here because he was actually decent for us. So Old Depot, welcome back to Philly. And uh, I'm going to go ahead. Like I said, I'm going to trade out Horford again and see if I get any better offers. So Buddy Heald, definitely a better offer, but like I said, I trade for Buddy Heald in every video. I kind of don't want to do it again. Blake Griffin would definitely be interesting at this point. Um, if the Pistons really wanted to get rid of Blake Griffin, I guess, to this point, they would... I, I, don't, I, I don't know how I can justify this, but Blake Griffin definitely could be interesting. There's also the Raptors uh, possibly going to give us Serge Ibaka and normal... Nor Norman Powell, I actually kind of like this offer. I'm not going to lie. Serge Ibaka, we all know a very nice... Floor spacer at the four spot. Shoots 35% from three, which isn't bad. And uh, he can score. So, you know what? I think I'm going to take this trade. We also get Norman Powell out of it. I don't know why Toronto would do it, but I'm doing it anyway. So, we're going to go ahead and have Sergi Baca play the four for us. So, we're going to have Simmons, uh, Milton, Odipo, Matisse, Dabble, Norman Powell. So, yeah, we have kind of a log jam of the shooting guard. Tobias Harris, Sergi Baca, Isaiah Todd, and Joel Embiid. So, if I can flip probably two of these shooting guards for a big man, that'd probably be ideal right now. So, Zara Smith. And let's say, um, I feel like keeping Matisse Thibel is definitely something uh, Philly fans would love for me to do. So, although there's some decent offers out here. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. We're going to move Matisse to the three because he just did make a defensive player or all defensive second team. So, I think I'm going to move him to the three. So, I'll have him be the back of small forward. And then we'll trade uh, probably Zara Smith and Isaiah Todd for a backup four or backup big. So, let's do that. Zara Smith and Todd. For a backup big Christian Wood, PJ Washington, and Myers Leonard. Okay, I'm loving that. Uh, Christian Wood. Okay, so I'm gonna do this trade. I'm gonna get PJ Washington from Charlotte, and uh, we'll have PJ Washington backing up. Reggie Baca. Okay, I love it. I, I love how our team is looking. We definitely just got rid of Al Horford, and I don't think we're gonna be signing anybody yet. We're not gonna sign anyone. So we're gonna just get straight to season number two. And honestly, the lineup's gonna look pretty good. So it's gonna have uh, Simmons, Oladipo, Harris, Sergi Baca, and Joel Embiid. Starting five is going to look nice. Hopefully, uh, in the second season, we can get all the way to the NBA Finals. But uh, if I get a repeat of the Eastern Conference Finals, that'll be fine too. Let's see what happens. So 57 and 25, probably one of the top teams in the East, which is awesome. LeBron James, your MVP. Evan Mobley, Rookie of the Year on the Rockets. Bull Bull, six man. Giannis Vince Player and John Morant's most approved. And Mike D'Antoni. Where is Mike D'Antoni coaching nowadays? Uh, it doesn't really show me, but I'm sure I can find out. So. All NBA first team, uh, Steph, we don't have uh, Embiid making it this time, but all NBA second team, nothing there either. Ben Simmons does make it. Did I get Embiid? Embiid does not make an all NBA team. Simmons does, though. Uh, he does not make all defensive first team, but Simmons does. And we get uh, Joel Embiid on all defensive second team, but no Matisse Stable this time. Okay, so interesting. But I, I got to find out. Oh, it's probably the Lakers, right? Um, yeah, Mike D'Antoni's coaching the Lakers now. Okay, interesting. All right, but we are the first team in the East. 57 and 25 we are the top of the eastern conference player stats 
23 from mb 21 from ben simmons and 18 from oladipo that is phenomenal numbers love to see it out of oladipo 38 percent is awesome too serge baka 39 percent of that power forward spot helps out a ton tobias Harris, 38 percent uh pj washington 45 wow okay norm powell 41 Harris max 36 t style 33 i love it man i love it so we are playing the Chicago Bulls in the first round. Another up-and-coming team in the East, I think, could definitely do some damage if they get the right pieces. And Kawhi Leonard is here in Chicago. So, yeah, you know, Kawhi has been known to break Philly's heart, so hopefully he doesn't do it again. And we sweeped him. So we'll, nothing to worry about. And now we're playing the team that beat us in the East Conference Finals last year. We're going to have to get rid of him early if we want to make it past or get it past to the Eastern or get to the Conference Finals. So, and we beat them in five. That's awesome. So we get rid of the competition that beat us last year. Now we're playing the Atlanta Hawks. Trey Young, Herter, Hunter, Collins, Gasol. Obviously, uh, without like without me having to say it, Atlanta is another coming up and coming team in the East, who I think could be in the playoffs very soon if they uh, make the right moves. And uh, I think they will with Travis Schlenk uh, running the show there. But let me see if we can get past them. And we beat them in seven. So that was definitely closer than I thought it was going to be. But we are in the NBA Finals playing mike d'antoni who has finally gotten to the nba finals by the way we're playing lebron anthony davis and drummond let me see if we can beat him man let's see if we can win this championship can we get daryl Morey a ring and we lose in seven games it was super close wow that sucks heartbreaker there nobody played good in game seven everybody wrapped the bed wow i'm actually really disappointed 30 21 like even emmanuel quickly scored 21 17 17 man that sucks i mean there was a lot of double digit performances but the Los Angeles Lakers win the championship. So I'm happy. Uh, at the end of the day, I am very happy with this team. I, I'm, I think Oladipo could definitely be a nice move by the 76ers. Or Chris Paul, if they really want to go that route as well. If they're more wanting to win now, Chris Paul, Oladipo, I think makes a lot of sense for that team. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you could answer me this question, will Daryl Morey trade Simmons or Embiid? Or will he keep both of them? Let me know what you guys think. But for now, this is Crushables. I'm saying peace.